So it seems VRA has had a very recent pumpity pump. And uh, it looks pretty aggressive. So let's dive in and kind of uh, check out the anatomy of this. All right. And per my last Veracity video, where I simply warned the viewers of FUD that I'm hearing, unconfirmed FUD from unconfirmed sources, and I got a lot of shit for it. And folks say, oh, he didn't know what he's talking about. Uh, well, there you can't first actually first off. I bet out of all YouTubers on Earth. I have more veracity uh, video views than anybody on Earth or in the top three on all of Earth. Right. First off, second of off, who else warned you that price is likely going to come down this low, which it just it just barely didn't hit my box. I gave you this box way back here trying to help folks visualize how low it's going to go. So that should be proof. I'm just trying to help people. I, you can't find a single person who back in this month here, where was it? Yeah, last year, warned you that it's going to get a double O, you know, in the double O zero three range. Right? And it almost got there. Warned you way back there. You can't find another source of information who warned you about that at that at that time. Perhaps afterward, yes, when it became more obvious. So you know, I, I, yeah, I just don't see how there's so much hate on that video, especially when I made, made no claims. I'm literally here to help you. And this chart, like the facts are, you know, uh, the facts kind of show that. Um, yeah, I, I was the first person to warn you that I, I almost guarantee that. All right. Now, this is a pretty darn big pump. Um, this is a big one. So let's start looking at the anatomy of this. 56, that's online with Ethereum. Ethereum's gone up 50% as well. Uh, how short of a time frame has it done this? Is this a healthy one? It's pretty aggressive. Uh, so it all kind of started here. So you had 30% in two hours, which Ethereum did 20% in three hours. So that's pretty similar. And then you had another race up eight hours, another 33%. I mean, it's not, it's not so crazy that it's unhealthy. Because you do have this origin line up here. It kind of looks like it wants to tap that. Uh, it looks like it wants to tap this line. And so it kind of looks like it's going to go to 0077 to me. And so let's see if that matches with any horizontal. So if we're going to take that and look left, is there anything over? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff over here. I mean, this entire section here, right? So there's a, there's a lot of stuff happening uh, from a horizontal perspective that aligns with this. Um, yeah, to me, it kind of looks like it wants to come hit this. Maybe even a wick above. Maybe even as high as 008. I could easily see it hit 008. Now, um, I guess not in, I'm not going to call this an invalidation point. Um, I'm actually coming to not like that term at all, actually. Uh, I like my threshold of becoming improbable. So your threshold, all right? Uh, what's your improbability threshold of that happening? And I think it's, it says it's a very short term time frame move. I would say I would use the one hour EMAs um, for doing this. If they'll load, since my internet uh, is acting all funny, taking 20 seconds to load a chart. All right, let's, let's do the one hour 55. No, let's do the 21 and the 89. Let's see how it plays with these. Yeah, I would say as long as the one hour 21 EMA. <clears throat> All right, so here, here's how I would do this for this coin. And I'm picking these two EMAs just because how short of a time frame this pump is, right? It's very short lived. I would say this is, um, if you're below the one hour 21 and you've closed and opened a candle under it, which it has not yet, and it closed a candle, I guess it closed one, but it didn't close and open candles under here. So whenever you start closing and opening candles between yellow and purple, 21 and 89, I think that's your, you know, roughly 50-50 zone. Either way could happen. Either, you know, it could be done or it could have another pump, right? So this is kind of like your 50-50 zone of no man's land. Just not much of an edge. Once, but specifically when you're opening and closing one hour candles within here. When you go below the uh, 89 EMA and close a candle below, I think then it becomes 
like the probabilities of downside uh, uh, have begun. And, and you might say, obviously, because it's way down there. Well, that's not how it's going to happen. It, they, these are probably going to compress to some degree. So it'll look like this. You know, if this were to start going sideways, you'll, you'll have something like this. So this zone will shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink. You know, you'll get something to this effect, right? So I'm more thinking when you're in the zone price like this opening closing candles it's roughly 50 50 so that's a bunch of 50 50 land right there let's make price green so price path is green right and this is the one hour 89 purple one hour 21 yellow so this is a bunch of you can't tell either way right below the 21 above the 89 in general terms will it play out like this no i'm not guessing i'm just showing you right i'm, I'm no, this is not my guess if you're opening closing candles above this line, I think it's more probable you're going to get another pump. So as of now, it looks like it. I mean, I would guess it's going to have more upside. Really? I mean, it's it's that simple. Just <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it looks more probable that's going to get another uh, height up. Now, once all this happens and uh, if it does end up doing this and it gets below opens and closed candles below the, the one hour eighty nine, I believe that's more probable at the time that if you look left, whatever high that happened, I think it's probable at that point that your local high looking left is the high of that whole move one but it's it's not a death sentence it just it's the point where i, I want to be very clear it's the point where it flips to being more probable it does it's not a death sentence it doesn't guarantee it it's just statistical probability simply like like flipping a fair coin it's statistically always 50 50 right and you ha it's important to understand, when do I get the coin flip chances? It's when you're, I would say it's roughly when you're between here. And when does it get better than coin flip chance to the bearish side? Well, when you're below the one hour 89 is, it would be my guide for that. So instead of giving, and again, I cannot stress this enough. I challenge you to get away from the thought of, I'm guessing this way and start seeing it. Probably bullish if this, not much of an edge if here and probably bearish if there. Just think with a three zone mentality at all times. That, that's actually a good way to, I've never said that before, have I? Think with a, th yeah, it's, it almost sounds like a football deep, like I'm a football coach. Arr, this is a three zone defense, <laughs> whatever. I, I, I never really played American football, so I, I don't really know, but that's what it sounds like. But think with a three zone mentality. Your zone of probably bullish, your zone of, uh, you can't really tell, and a zone of probably bearish. I, I really challenge you to start thinking that way. And I and with veracity, I would use these EMAs. So right now, it looks like it's probably still bullish. And it's going to go up to that other target. Three zone mentality. Yeah, it looks like it's going to come up here. I would say 0 0.008 would be where, where I'm going to, where we're going to see it go. Um, at, from a statistical probability standpoint as of now, and those probabilities can change. And that's what we got for veracity.